Is there a bank hiding behind your robo-advisor? Why Betterment isn't your local branch? Ever feel like traditional banks nickel and dime you with hidden fees? Maybe you're tired of that impersonal atmosphere where the loan officer looks at you like a number. That's where robo-advisors like Betterment come in. They promise a smarter, more automated way to manage your money. But with all the talk about investing and automated features, a crucial question gets buried. Is Betterment actually a bank? Let's face it, local banks hold a special place. They're the friendly faces you see downtown, the ones who might even remember your name. They might offer special perks or be more understanding when you need a loan. So, if you're switching to a robo-advisor, is that local connection gone forever? Well, buckle up, because the answer to is Betterment a bank is a surprising one. It's not a straightforward yes or no. Here's why. Betterment, the robo-advisor revolution. Betterment rose to fame as a robo-advisor. These are automated investment platforms that use algorithms to build and manage your portfolio based on your goals and risk tolerance. Basically, you tell them what you're saving for, retirement, a house down payment, and how much risk you're comfortable with, and they do the rest. The appeal is clear. Robo-advisors are often cheaper than traditional financial advisors, and they make investing accessible to everyone, even those with smaller savings accounts. Plus, they offer a user-friendly interface that lets you track your progress and make adjustments on the go. But wait, there's more. Betterment doesn't just do investing anymore. They've expanded into what they call Betterment Checking and Betterment Cash Reserve. These features allow you to keep your everyday cash alongside your investments, all within the Betterment platform. Sounds convenient, right? The plot twist, banks behind the scenes. Here's where things get interesting. While Betterment offers features that resemble a checking account and a savings account, it's not actually a bank itself. Let me explain. For Betterment Checking, they've partnered with a real bank, NBKC Bank, to provide the actual banking services. Your money is deposited in NBKC Bank's accounts, and that's where FDIC insurance kicks in, protecting your funds up to a certain limit in case the bank fails. Betterment Cash Reserve works similarly. Your cash gets deposited into one or more partner banks, and again, FDIC insurance applies. These partner banks are carefully chosen to offer competitive interest rates on your cash. So, while Betterment acts as a middleman, the actual banking happens behind the scenes with their partner institutions. This allows Betterment to offer these features without the hassle of becoming a bank themselves. Local Bank vs. Robo-Advisor, Picking Your Team Now that we've untangled the bank question, let's get back to that local connection. With Betterment, you won't have a friendly banker down the street. But that doesn't mean you lose out on customer service entirely. Betterment offers online chat and phone support, and their team is known for being responsive and helpful. Ultimately, the choice between a local bank and a robo-advisor like Betterment comes down to your priorities. Here's a quick breakdown. Local bank, personalized service, potential for better loan options, familiarity with your community might have higher fees and less user-friendly technology. Robo-Advisor, Betterment lower fees, automated investing features, easy-to-use platform. No local branch may not offer complex financial products. There's no right or wrong answer. You might even find a sweet spot and use both. Keep your everyday banking at a local branch you trust and use Betterment for automated investing and their cash management features. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.